Welcome back to the Sound for More channel and welcome to another tutorial on Korg Gadget Free. Today we are going to have a look at um, connecting MIDI controllers and um, what you can do, at least in the introduction, to um, using them inside Korg Gadget. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So let's start in Core Gadget, just clicking on new and creating a new project and clicking OK, and then selecting a gadget that we want to, to use. So let's choose Dublin, for example. And there we are, we have Dublin now loaded up. Now let's expand um, the, the console here so that we see the different controls underneath. Now, as you can see, underneath here it says all if you click on all you have options for midi input now if you click on all ins it shows you the different midi input that it is accepting so in this case you can see a virtual port for gadget which you can use to connect to other apps for example inside your ios device if in this case you're using an ios device of course you can use the network session one an external controller, in this case, the keyboard, which I'm using, AUM or no input or all input. So indeed, I could say keyboard. Okay, you can see it changed here for K, the initial, then it says all. Then if you click on it again, underneath you, it says all channels. So you click on that and then you can choose the channels that you want um, to receive from. You can say all channels or you can say channel number one only. Now, if I press some keys on the external controller, I can play, of course, sounds of Dublin as a gadget uh, directly from that MIDI controller. Now, let's bring in another gadget. I click on the plus sign and let's bring in, um, I don't know, uh, we just use uh, Dublin there, but um, let's bring in, uh, why not, Phoenix here. Okay, similar to here, we can change the configuration. We click on hold, we can decide which sources to use. I select again keyboard, or I could have left it to just all um, inputs. I go back here, you, you can go back to the previous view, which shows you the channel. And again, I can leave you not all channels, or say again, just select uh, and receive only um, MIDI inputs from channel number one. As you can see, it says K1 here and K1 here. So K board here, channel one, K board, channel one. So let's press some keys again on the K board on the external controller. So as you can see, it is now playing both gadgets at the same time. So it's practically layering two instruments at the same time and playing them at the same time using only one MIDI controller. Of course, you can have more than one MIDI controllers and you can they can be using the same MIDI channels or different MIDI channels. So you could have two MIDI controllers controlling different gadgets independently. And of course, you can go back inside the... Um, the uh, gadget and change the um, preset to something else that you prefer and then keep playing click back here and keep playing for example for live performance why not so you can use gadget actually to play multiple gadgets with one or more midi external controllers okay so that's one way of course to to use it additionally if you go here on the settings you have bluetooth midi you click on settings there and then of course you can choose uh, an external bluetooth midi device you can see previously here i use an akai lpk 25 wireless but i also connected other devices for example when i wanted to control um, the uh, MIDI from a Yamaha montage. So I use an external MIDI interface for that, or MIDI connector, I should say, for that Bluetooth. And then I even use the foot control as well to control 
part of gadget as well because you can do that as well now let me show you something else as well because you can control also gadget through another application so let's go to uh, aum here let's click on the plus sign let's create a midi channel let's click on plus there again and then in here let's go for example let's search for base okay let's choose auto base and now let's open the app. There is a nice uh, baseline there already created for us. And now let's click on the left hand side here. We go to MIDI output. And now we could select, for example, gadget virtual, or we could also go through the AUM uh, virtual um, output as well. Let's choose gadget virtual um, for now. Now let's click play. You will not hear anything at the moment. This is actually working. It's going through the auto base line and playing it and it's sending MIDI messages out um, uh, through this output which is the gadget virtual now we need to go back to um, to gadget and now let's choose for example here another gadget let's choose something like a base this one tube base machine let's load it up <laughs> And you can hear straight away that uh, is playing um, the, a a the AUM um, app is actually playing Chicago as a gadget. Now let's change the preset here. Let's go for, uh, um, I don't know, a simple bass. Okay. That sounds great. Okay. Now let's re-enable here the input. We go to... Um, the gadget virtual port you can see signal here in green as well and you will hear it play now i can stop here in aum so i stop the playing here of auto base and therefore it stops playing that gadget inside gadget frame okay and of course i can generate another baseline and play You can still mute, for example, that particular gadget. So it is being played now by Autobase inside AUM. And you have set here uh, that gadget virtual port and is receiving on all channels. But you could say receive, for example, on channel one, two, whichever you decide. Of course, you need to match it in AUM as an audio channel as well. Okay, so, and so this is another nice way that you can use to drive gadget inside core gadget by using an external for example sequencer or like in this case auto base and you, it doesn't have to be only one so you can go back to a to aum and uh, for example create an an additional one for example you could say uh, i'm going to bring up uh, uh, polybad okay and then what you can say i'm going as a, a output here I'm going to, again, to go to uh, Gadget Virtual. Or, for example, you can go to AUM Source. Okay, so you click on it as well. Now you can see uh, some steps there, which are repeated. Let's change them, something like that. And then let's go back inside the Core Gadget. Okay, so let's take, for example, Phoenix here, and let's change the input to... So Polybad now in AUM is playing Phoenix and we have Autobase which will be playing Chicago so and let's enable both. And of course I can play now doubling myself. I click solo here so to disable very quickly the output of Phoenix in Chicago but I can re-enable it now and then use my external keyboard to play on top of the other two. Oh, 
Hopefully that explains a little bit how you can start to use external MIDI controller. You can also use uh, MIDI controllers uh, or, or MIDI sources, which are not necessarily hardware. In this case, we use the AUM, but it doesn't have to be AUM. It could be GarageBand, it could be another DAW, it could be Cubases, etc etc and um, and the beauty is that you can play multiple gadget through an external midi controller at the same time you uh, can have core gadget internal sequencer here uh, playing different tracks and then you can have also aum in this case or another though playing some of the gadget inside core gadget so it, a lot of different possibilities and of course remember you can also connect multiple external hardware MIDI controller, whether they are directly through a USB cable or even Bluetooth going through yeah, the connectivity through the setting in the blue uh, to for MIDI settings here. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Hopefully it makes all sense. I will continue with the series of tutorials on Core Gadget. And as always, see you next time. Bye.